A gift they can't explain, a secret they never imagined. But fortune comes with a price. Katie and Adam, a newlywed couple, are facing financial difficulties as they try to meet their expenses. Katie works as a waitress, and Adam is pursuing his studies at school. One evening, an attempt is made to rob the diner where Katie works, but Adam successfully stops the would-be robbers. Katie gets a new job as a carer for Leonard, a wealthy elderly man who develops a strong bond with her. Leonard insists on providing financial assistance after learning about Katie's financial difficulties, but Katie asks him to hire Adam as his gardener instead. One day, Mickey Hayden, who claims to be a real estate agent, informs Katie that a potential buyer is interested in purchasing their home. Despite Katie telling that it is not for sale, Hayden begins to pay close attention to the couple. Leonard then hands Katie a check for $7,000 shortly after. Katie is initially hesitant to accept it, but Adam convinces her to use the money to pay off their past due bills and return the remainder to Leonard. The next day, Katie and Adam arrive at Leonard's house only to discover his lifeless body, which has a profound effect on Katie. They discover a large sum of money inside a trunk and, after a brief disagreement, decide to keep it without informing the authorities. During Leonard's funeral, they learn from his lawyer, Julia, that he left all of his property to Katie. Katie and Adam move to Leonard's house, but they are once again targeted by the determined Hayden, who issues threats. Concurrently, Detective Chesler becomes suspicious of Adam, and she launches an investigation into Leonard's death and the robbery at the diner. Katie becomes skeptical of Adam after speaking with the detective. Eager to address her concerns, she goes over the property and finds a hidden room in a shed. She is shocked to find Ethan, Leonard's former gardener, dead from a gunshot wound, along with a bag of diamonds. Adam investigates Hayden's background and discovers that he was recently released from prison for stealing over $3 million in diamonds. Adam deduces that Ethan was Hayden's accomplice and that Hayden murdered him in order to get his cut of the diamonds. Ethan, who had been fatally injured, sought refuge at Leonard's house, where he eventually died. Hayden is determined to find the diamonds, knowing that they are hidden somewhere on the property. Adam and Katie choose to run away with the money they found in the attic. As Adam is getting ready, Hayden shows up unexpectedly, seizing Katie at gunpoint and demanding the location of the diamonds. Hayden and Adam get into a shootout, which ends in both of their deaths. Julia arrives, and Katie reveals that Hayden was responsible for Leonard's death due to a medication overdose. Julia takes Hayden's gun and points it at Katie, disclosing her role as Hayden's public defender and her role in the scheme. She demands the diamonds, but Katie claims she has no idea where they are, explaining that Adam hid them. Shessler arrives just in time and fatally shoots Julia. Four months later, Chesler recounts to a pregnant Katie how they meticulously searched the house for the diamonds with no success. Katie turns on the sprinklers and leaves the garden. The flowing water exposes the earth beneath, revealing the diamonds hidden beneath a tree. A detail Adam mentioned in his final moments. Thanks for watching. To catch all the latest from us, Subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified as soon as a new video drops. We'll see you in the next one.